I'm planning on getting financial aid. Oh, will I apply for financial aid? I'll have to. There's no other way I'll be able to afford college. Today, it is 400% more expensive to go to college in the United States than it was just 30 years ago. The net price, the net tuition, uh, actually rose for the first time in, in, in quite a while. What the average student paid at a public four-year increased by about 2%. Um, and that what a student actually paid at a four-year private institution rose by about 4%. But I, so. it does set up a lot of roadblocks for me. Students are afraid to go to college because of the debt that they will have to take on after they graduate. Uh, at, at the highest point, I think my school loans were at about $140,000. So I have thought about college. Um, and while I'm excited to go, like, it is really costly, and um, while there are um, programs to help make money to go to college or to borrow money to go to college, um, I'm concerned about having to pay that off later on in life too, and to continue having to pay um, for my education long after my education is over. I have to agree that the cost of education is exploding. It is continuing to rise and it's very scary. I, I think that we now live in a world where colleges have gotten so much more expensive. Um, I was looking at one college the other day for a student and it showed how over the last 25 years they've gone from being $6,000 a year to $38,000 a year. My grandma used to say that she worked through college but there's absolutely no way I'm able to do that. I make $8.50 an hour right now and I know that that won't help me get through college. It's so expensive. You know, we're past the point in life where you can work your way through college. When my parents were, you know, hitting 18, 19, you could work your way through college. There's no way to do that now. There are many students who don't believe that college is an option because they can't figure out, they can't imagine how they're going to be able to pay for the rising cost of education. Student debt is now second only to mortgages as an overall household liability. That colleges are, are adding on more and more fees and more costs for everything and students are having to bury themselves in loans that even though they're low interest, the fact is there are so many jobs that even if you're working full time, it's going to take a long time to pay those off. The United States has $1.2 trillion in student loan debt. Has an awesome appetite, Tyrannosaurus debt. Did your parents help pay for the cost for you? Uh, we're in no position where they could help me, so most likely no, they will not. I get a little frustrated that I'm never going to not be in debt. Like, ever. We need to make financial aid inclusive for all Americans. As Congress's job to write legislation and to support education, we need Congress to enact laws to include more families. Increase funding for the Pell Grants and make financial aid available and easier to apply for. Support legislation that reduces interest rates on student loans to a little or no cost loan. Continue to fund increased funding to educational institutions in the form of research and other grants, thus taking the pressure off the institution for need for increasing tuition. We're creating this society where People get an education and then have to, have to decide whether it was worth it, or people are coming out of high school and trying to decide whether it's worth it to be educated. Um, this is really going to be a problem going forward. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to have a nation of people who don't care enough about education, which means that we also have a nation full of people who can't do certain things. And if we expect to compete effectively in a global economy, we have to invest in what matters most, in what makes a difference. There, there needs to be a little more of a commitment from our society that education is important, but also that it's not a burden. There is a solution, redefining education, what that means, and 
looking at it from a different way. If it's the difference between you're getting to do something you love and you're never getting to do something you love, I think it's worth that debt.